Guys, welcome back to the channel. Get some sun with Paz. We are in sunny Prataras. It's the middle of the afternoon and we need a snack. So we're going to head off to the Fools and Horses bar. It's mega busy here. It's mega blazingly hot. Stop messing about and come with me. So we are then folks, we're at the Fools and Horses Bar and Grill. Julie's just parking it up outside, parking the wagon up, getting the shoes on her feet, and we're going to go in there and get a spot of lunch. I'm going to put my shirt on, because it's been absolutely blistering a lot. I need to get it back on to go in there anyway. But honestly folks, it's so hot here, it's unbelievable. Let's have a look at the menus outside. Folks, here's your, uh, your cocktails and your drinks menu outside. You've got Kia at 3 90 for a pint. Leon, it's 3 90 there to your two local beers, you've got Heineken for 4 50 and then if you look down you've got Carlin at 4 90 Pirani's 4 90 and if you look down the list you've got the Thatcher's Cider for 4 90 Magnus is 4 90 and Copperberg is 4 50 You've got IPAs down there starting at 5 50 and ending up at 6 euros and your ciders and bottles 4 50, uh, 4 32 5 50 and you've got your beers, I'm just going to run you through this quickly Pause the video if you need to see it. And then once I've filmed your drinks menus, I'm going to put my shirt and go inside, ask for a snacks menu, and show you the prices on that. Just pause it if you want to see it. There you go, there's your last few cocktails. Alright, so folks, I've got my shirt on now. I didn't have it on originally because it's absolutely blazing here. Um, I'm going to show you the food menu which is outside, it's a bit easier to see, a bit more lighting, so have a look at this folks. Starters there, the garlic breads, king prawn cocktails, your mozzarella sticks and etc, and your tzatziki pizza bread, and your wraps, just pause it if you want to see it, then you've got your toasty sandwiches, you can have a ham and cheese toasty for 4 dollars it's probably what I'll have, because I only need something quick, you've got your burgers there, Starting at 5 90 going all the way up to 10.90. Jack and potatoes, you've got your pastas, you've got your pizzas, you've got your main course with your salads, and then you've got pork dishes, you've got your baby, baby back um, barbecued wrapper ribs with Del Boy, Del Boys. It's not only Fools and Horses Bar, it's Fools and Horses Bar, based on the theme of a uh, Del Boy. One of my favourite characters from any for the best sitcom of all time. And then you've got a chicken madras curry. Sounds nice, chicken tikka curry. Chili con carne, I like them to be fair. I might have a chili con carne to be fair, fair folks. And then you've got your desserts. And the sweat has just run the inside of my sunglasses. Right folks, let's get in here and talk in. Come on, stop messing about. Right then folks. Everything's getting wet. I'm not hot and sweaty. The sweat keeps dripping down off my bulb bonds into my sunglasses. My right bands. I need them so I can see the bottom of my glass. Anyway, Julie's laughing, she knows what that means. Let's get these back on me. In fact, before I put these back on me, let's put that away. Look what I've bought, guys. Face flannel. Just the business for what you need. Mop on your brow. Whoa. It's so warm, man. It's so warm. Alright, folks. So we've settled into our new and horses, but I've already showed you the menu outside. Let's just get the mic on me. I put my shirt back on. Well, kind of put my shirt back on. Um, so we're in only fools and horses, but it's not. It's fools and horses, but not only fools and horses, but we've ordered the meals. I've already showed you the menus outside. Julie's had a jack and potato with cheese, just cheese. Cheese and beans. Cheese and beans. So. She's been getting let off a lot of wind this afternoon in the pool, so we will have a jacuzzi. And I'm having the chilli con carne. Judy's looking at me like she's about to say something, but she's got not got the mic on her. So bear with me a second. Now all the is it jacket potato gonna come out with cheese on first or beans on first? Really it should be cheese then beans, because then the beans melt the cheese. I don't know folks, world of useless information, aren't you? What's your choice? Now, comment down below because Judy wants you to. Whether you should have cheese on your baked potato first or beans on your baked potato first. If it was me personally, I would go 
cheese on top of your beans. Put some weird lot of, and I put a little bit of marmite on the top as well. Yes. Give me a look around only fools nuts. Keep calling only fools nuts. It's the fools and all she's got. Next. Right folks, the food's come out. I'll tell you what, that was mega fast, that was. What I'm going to do is hold myself a little bit closer to the table like this. I've had to plug my mic and my camera in because the charge is running a bit low. I've been doing some other vlogs throughout the day. And that's probably why I'm sweating so much, to be honest with you. Now, I've had the chilli con carne with basmati rice. Julie's had a baked potato with cheese and beans. Or beans and cheese. Personally, I'd have drizzled some marmite on the top of there, but, you know, everyone to their own. Let's come in closer, and I'll give you a bit of a look. Yeah, Julie is absolutely demolishing the baked potato. I mean, I was going to show you it's in all its glory and everything, but now it just looks like slop. Yeah, that looks, it looks like summertime a bit. I could puke up the next morning after a good night on the session. Sorry, folks, that you had to hear that. But that is what it looks like. And then, folks, you've got mine, the chilli con carne, which I absolutely love a bit of chilli con carne. Not a massive portion because I did only want a bit of a spot to have lunch to eat. A bit of a snack. I've got Tom Jones playing next to me as well. A bit of sex bomb. Which I think the bar staff have aimed at me, you know what I mean? Sex bomb, sex bomb. Are you laughing at? Right then, folks. Let's get in for a little bit of this. Let's try out the chilli chili first. Hopefully it's not mega hot. It is steaming a bit. Get a bit of rice on there as well. There you go. Have a look at that. Hopefully it does drop off the spoon. Looks lovely, that does. Let's try it out. It's definitely hot. Ooh. Not hot as in sports, yo. Although it has got a little bit of a kick behind it. Um, it's hot, just hot, hot. It needs cooling down a bit. Mm. Nice. Julie wants me to put some salt on the baked beans. Where's the salt? Oh, okay. Go get in beyond you guys because it's beyond you. So I went. You having some dinner with that salt there? Hold on. Oh, I'll take this and then we'll write it out to 10. Still got one of my favourite tunes playing beyond me. It was wrote for me, apparently, by John Jones. Baby, you can turn me on. Uh huh. Mm. Julie's pointing at something else now. Every time I take a mouthful of something, she put. I'll tell you what, she ain't disabled. Boon idol. She wants a drink. Do you want this, Jules? Yes. Do you want this? Jules, do you want this? Just put it Set. down. Cool. So, I've got my own. Now, product class placement there is, the guys. It ain't even Carlsberg, it's KO. Boston. How would you eat this? Would you chuck all your rice into the chilli? Or would you put the, make an hole in the chilli? And put the chilli in the middle of the rice? I think I'm going to mix it in. Chuck it in there. Get it in there, look. It's like building a sandcastle here. Tell you what, folks, that beach down there is a lot better looking than Blackpools. Mix it round like that. And then get in for a good portion. It's nice and juicy. It's got a really nice flavour to it as well. It's a nice chilli, that is. Mm. Right. 
machine enough for me eating. Is that a jalapeno? It's a jalapeno in there as well. I can see it on the camera. Jalapeno. Lovely. Right, stop watching me and watch Julie. And normally Julie's quite a slow eater, but today he's going at it like a bullet to gate. Anybody you think you'd never been fed? Yeah. You hungry there, Jules? Yeah, I'm doing it. Shouldn't be. We only reviewed the uh, full English breakfast at uh, what's it named earlier? Uh, the greenery. It was nice, wasn't it? I'm not going to tell you the scores, guys. You're going to have to look back at the vlogs. Yeah, folks. So I'm going to say, most of the places we've eaten out at at Katara's have been really nice. Um, really good price as well. Considering we've only just come back from Bodrum, um, the prices over here are a lot cheaper than Turkey. Um, I don't want to upset any of the Turkey viewers over there, but Turkey has got very expensive. Um, Cyprus... Although it has become a little bit dearer than it used to be, it's still value for money. You can't say that about Turkey. But I do love Turkey, don't get me wrong. Mm. And I do miss my Turkish company. Made a lot of friends out there with my jewels. Yeah. Do miss you as well. Ali G, Alfie Moon, Ronaldo. Guys at the Angarva Lounge. Guys at the Angarva Lounge. Hollywood place. Cafe. Rick. Yeah, Rick's place. Yeah. Curly. In fact, we have to give three people a shout out. I'm going to give it to. First of all, Ali G, one of my good friends. Rick at Rick's place. And Curly. But we're not going to forget Oscar. Alti Moon, Ronaldo. What was the guy in Hollywood Lounge? I can't remember. Um, can't remember the name. It's on the tip of my tongue. Shout out to the Hollywood Lounge, all the staff there. Fantastic. But I'm sorry, guys. Turkey for us is just too expensive. We love the place, don't get me wrong. It's just too expensive. We will go back. Mm. We will definitely go back. Just because of all the connections that we made over there so I've got some lovely new friends people over there really nice um, all right we're gonna ask Julie Moister straight out here we go Hand the camera around a little bit so he goes bath and shop kind of you have to lean forward a bit Jules um, see if we can get the camera back a bit there we go so ignoring Bodrum between Gumbet and Pretoris, which one would you rather come back to? Which is your favourite resort? I think it's Whiskey 50 because we obviously haven't seen Gumbet in full swing for the nightlife and that. Yeah, but I, don't, I wouldn't want to see it in full swing now, would I? I don't like that sort of thing. So, alright then. Based on the beach? Based on, no, based on the beach, the people that you've met, the prices of the food, general experience. One Which bit. one would you regulate? Would you rather regulate come back to Pretoria or come bit? Come bit. I think. It's a tough one because I like all the people in, in um, Gumbet, but it would be Pretoria. Mm. But I like the people in Gumbet. It's the same for me, folks. That's Isn't it? Is it the nail on the head? In Gumbet, it was all about the people, it was all about the restaurants, the bars there. They were fantastic. Everybody got to know us, we got to know them. And we really enjoyed it. Um, the drawback to Gumbet is that what will pull me back to Gumbet are the people. I've just said that. Anyway, guys, get her on catch up. Um, other than that, I think, to be honest with you, if I had to keep going to the same place every year, I'd pick Pretaris. Now, next question. Between Bodrum and Pretaris? Pretaris. yeah. Um, we weren't that impressed with Bodrum, to be honest with you. Um, nice place, don't get me wrong, but I think once you've been there for a couple of days, you've pretty much seen it all. 
you wouldn't want to rent a car because the drive lot much is over there. Um, lovely place, lovely people again. But if I was to go back to either Bodrum or Gumbet, I'd pick Gumbet and just visit Bodrum every now and again. Um, Bodrum wasn't really for us, was it? It was nice, it was scenic, but I think once you've seen it, you've seen it. I think Pretaris Alvaria is for us a nice, a better place. Not nice, but a better place for us. So, guys, but we have got a lot of friends. If you, if you want well, to go Turkish we? viewers, please don't take offence for that because we are saying that Turkey is an extremely nice place to go. But for us, Pretaris kind of pips it, doesn't it? We've got friends over here as well, haven't we? Mm. We haven't been for two years yet, they, they all remember us. And whether you're a Turkish viewer or whether you're one of the separate viewers of real, I'm sorry, but you've both still failed to Tenerife because Tenerife is still my number one favourite spot to go. And Julie keeps arguing with me. Oh, once you've been to these other places, you, you'll, you lose interest in Tenerife. Well, I've, I've done Pataras eight times now. Yeah, but you never wanted to go to Lanzarote. And you have mentioned going back to yeah. been there. We only that went there for like four days. Um Lanzarote was fantastic folks, but I think it's a bit like Bodrum. There's not that much to do. Once you've seen it for a couple of days, you've done it all. Fantastic looking, fantastic bars and restaurants. But once you've been there for a few days, you're just gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over again. So for me, it's Pretorius. But in general, as holidays go, overall I prefer Tenerife. Uh, play the Las Americas and I know a lot of people say why because there's a lot more to do there than there is these other places that we've been it's just a massive area and there's a lot of a lot of a lot of places to go and eat and enjoy basically other places to go and visit other resorts you, you feel safe driving over there um, it's, it's just one of them it's one of them it is to everybody's own isn't it and to me I prefer Tenerife we do normally have a car in um, Cyprus, don't we? But we haven't done this time because obviously the accident. Yeah. We was due to hire a car on Saturday, yesterday. For my guys at six. Um, but we'll have to let them down a little bit because obviously there's no point. Judy's had the accident, so. What's she doing then? Disgusting. Um, with the mobility, she needs a mobility scooter, so there'd be no point hiring the car. So, we've just an extra vlogging around Pretaris. To be honest, I could quite happily spend two weeks in Pretaris. Lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just too hot, so with somebody at town the central eating down. Right, Bosch, it's gone. The lot's in there, you know what I mean? The shirt's going to have to come back off in a minute, I do apologise, but. It's just too hot. I've got to admit to you guys, the only other holiday that I've ever been on that's been as hot as this is here, Pretoris, and that was in August where it was 56 degrees. And so far, the hottest we've had this week is 48 degrees. 48 degrees. That's it. I hope you lots appreciate how much effort we put into vlogging because it's a damn killer to walk around in this heat, I'll tell you, especially with a camera and now like that on your back. Whoa. If we can come to Cyprus, we recommend coming to Pretoris in September. It's not as hot, you're still looking at low 30s. And that's just a lovely temperature to be in. This week has been, I've gone back back to the hotel every day with a headache. Because it's just, just that hot, it's ridiculously really hot. And um, if you want a suntan, it's definitely the place to be. There's a tan without even trying. What? Yeah, don't forget your suntan lotion. And don't forget your tin foil hat as well. Yes, guys, do you remember the days when the 5G masks first came out? And people used to walk around with tin foil hats on because they thought it was going to give them brain cancer. I mean, come on. What day and age are we in, guys? Behave. I'm love. I'm a believer. I'm not, I'm not drunk. I've only had two shandies. Swell it round my mouth to get the Russian stuck. Oh, it's busted. Thank you very much. Thank you.
So folks, fools and horses bar the bill. Here we go. So those charges for one chili con carne, 10 euros 90. One jack potato with cheese and beans, at 6 euros 90, which is an absolute bargain at 17 euros 80. Now I've got to admit to you, because I like to put you in the full picture, the lovely lady says that because we put it on the internet, in other words, my YouTube channel, she's not charged us for the beers to say thank you. So guys, with the beers, it would have cost a bit extra, but just for the meals alone, I sat on the meals alone, that is a bargain. I mean, six years old, six year old ninety for a jack of potato with cheese and beans. But I bad boys. Think about that in pounds, it's about a fiver. Uh, well, it's about, it's about, it's about six pounds, isn't it, really? Um, the chili con carne, 10 ninety was well worth it. Absolutely lovely. The taste, don't go on the looks. The taste was amazing, it was beautiful. Just the right amount of kick, just the right amount of meatiness to it. Roast and cooked perfectly. The place is fantastic. It's one of our favourite bars here. Boys, if you're in Patoas, come and visit them. Right, folks, hopefully you enjoyed that little quick short vlog on the Fools and Horses bar in Pretoris. It's down the other end of the strip from where we're staying. It's down by the Alva Apartments and the Love Bars. So, guys, I'm going to rate it out of 10. I'm going to give it a banging, full on 10. 10 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic. That chili con carne was banging. The staff here are really friendly. The drinks are cheap. The atmosphere is lovely. Get down to Phil's and Horses Bar in Pitaris. You are regretted. Jules, do you agree with that? 10 out of 10? Definitely. Definitely 10 out of 10. In that case, guys, Jules, say to all Jules. Ciao, Jules. Guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. It's might be a Sunday dinner. I ain't got a clue where I'm going to put it, but it's going to be a Sunday dinner, isn't it? See you guys for now. Ta-ra. Oh, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications and press subscribe. Ta-ra.